Hello. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Good. How was your day? No, a little bit busy. <laughs> okay. A lot of activity to do. Okay. All right. Uh, what about the others? Eduardo, Walter, and Manuel. Can you hear me? Hello, good evening, teacher. Yes, I can. Hello, Eduardo. How was your day? Pretty good. Okay. That's good. Manuel, how was your day? It was good, but the kind of busy. What is it? It was good. All right. Walter, can you hear me? Maybe he doesn't hear. All right. So um, welcome back. Today is the 11th of June, 2020. It's nine o'clock. So let's begin. Um, how do we usually start every class? What is the first thing we speak about? Uh, remember that last class exactly we remember um, what we did the previous class or the last class so that's exactly what we will do right now do you remember the topics we covered yesterday present perfect continuous uh-huh present perfect continuous um, present perfect continuous is one of the 12 tenses uh, can you remind me and tell me what the function is of the present perfect continuous? Uh -huh. Somebody, anybody? I think maybe it's a, uh, we can do or we do it in our day. We do it? In our day, in our day. In in for our explaining, day. for explaining activities that is not finished but interrupting for another action. Okay. Um, it, it, when we're talking about the present perfect continuous, you're talking about an action that starts in the past, and when you're speaking, you are still doing it. Now, when we make a combination of the simple past and the past continuous, then the simple past interrupts the past continuous. But with the present perfect continuous, you, uh, uh, you're, you're expressing an action that began in the past and you are still doing it. And it's a, and it's a tense that is very common to, to use. Okay. Now, can you remind me the, the structure of the present perfect continuous? Has been. Has been or have been. What is the difference between have and has in that case, in that particular tense? The pronouns. What is it? The pronouns. The, the pronoun. Not the pronoun. Yes, the pronoun or the personal or, or the subject, if you want to call it. Um, if you're talking about he, she, it, you're going to use has. If you're talking about any of the others, you will have to use have, have and has. Uh, in both cases, you need to use the past participle form of verb to be, which is been, and then the form of the main verb is always ing. Any questions or comments there? Okay. Okay, um, any questions about yesterday or comments you may have? Um, in the person continue, we always uh, say using have, it has been. Yes, it's mandatory. It's mandatory. Thanks. Yes. So you use have or has, 
plus been and the ing form of the verb. That is correct. Always we use ing in the verbs. Always. ing form is, is mandatory. And not only with the present perfect continuous, but with the past continuous, with the future continuous, with the past perfect continuous, any tense that has the word continuous in the name, it is mandatory to include the ing form. Okay, thanks. Yep. All right, any other comments or questions? No? Okay, so that is the present perfect continuous. What are the options that we have seen to talk about future plans? What are the structures that you use when you're talking about future plans or events? Simple future. Okay, simple future, auxiliary will. What else? And going to. Going to. Going to, okay, good. So when you're talking about future events, future plans, um, if, if, if the idea is very general, people usually use will or going to. However, we have other tenses like the simple, future, continuous, the present perfect, the simple present, the, the, the uh, present continuous form, where if you want to give it a meaning with the future tense, you need to include a time expression. So what are you doing tomorrow? Um, when are you visiting your family? You know, all those uh, uh, options that we have to talk about future, sometimes you will need to include an, a, a time expression so people understand that your question or sentence is about future. Um, any questions or comments about the future? No. All right. So right now I'm going to assign you to be working in pairs. Uh, and you guys are going to talk about what you or your family have planned to do this coming um, weekend. That means tonight after the class, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday all day. So you have about four days that maybe you have planned uh, to do certain things uh, either at work with your family or friends. So any questions about the instructions? Oh, are the questions clear? Yes. Yes, it's clear. All right, so here we go. Tinder, can you hear me?
What are you going to do in in the weekend? <laughs> oh, in the weekend, um, finish the platform <laughs> in English online. I'm sorry. What was the question? Why keen exercise do you going to in the weekend? In my weekend, um. I am going to do the routine with Elena Malova. She is a YouTuber and she has a lot of videos in his channel. And sure. I and I like it because she is well I, she is good to do this. <laughs> and I am I try to do exercise every day. But um, I don't have a, an a special routine. I try to do different, different exercise every day. And I consider that it is... I'm really sure. Maybe sure. close to the lake. <laughs> ah, probably. To the lake. Um. Yeah. What's near the lake? Uh, uh, Jose was talking that he used to visit here, my neighborhood, to, uh, because uh, he, 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 do, he does some kind of camping. And I didn't know that uh, that kind of activities uh, were possible here. So I said that maybe uh, he, he goes to camping close to the lake. Right. Yeah, all the I surroundings. Never, I never visit the lake. Really? You never been yeah. to the Ilopango Lake? No. <laughs> I only visit Cuatepeque Lake because my family lives in Santa Ana. Okay. Uh, yeah, Ilopango Lake is nice too. The only thing is, you know, like there are some areas that are not too safe. Safe. <laughs> safe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, really? But uh, it is not a lot of restaurants here. Uh, it depends because there are options, you know, like people have their, uh, you have two options the place where nobody pays and everything is open. And then you have all the restaurants or cafeterias that are inside the tourist center. So you have um, you you Two have options. places to choose from. Oh, great! Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. And only the the Weha Lake, yes. Yeah, is the name? Yeah, Santana. Yeah. I, I passed by there a couple of years ago. I remember that I went there when I was a kid, but like, I don't know, maybe like 10 years ago, I remember that I went to Metapan and on our way back, we passed near that, uh, that place. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. You guys finished talking already? Yes. Yeah. All right, so let's go back. Okay, um, did you guys have the chance to speak about what you're doing on the weekend? Where are the others? Did you? Can you guys hear me? Yes, but only 
or three, Manuel, Joshua, and me. <laughs> Where are the other students coming? Okay, let's see. Power graph. Oh, they, they are, they're coming back. You, you're right. right. <laughs> they're coming back in seven seconds. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, any questions or comments about the plans you have for the weekend? No. This, this no. day is difficult to do great no, plans. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Only Joshua. <laughs> yeah. what, is, what is Joshua doing? He will go to the river. Really? And he is going yeah. to, to visit uh, her grandmother uh, this weekend. Okay, good. All right. A anybody else is doing something unusual, if we can call it like that? <laughs> yeah, because right now that's a little bit unusual. Like you say, oh, I'm going to visit a relative or I'm going to go to a lake or something. It's not too common. Yeah. Not all, yet. Right. all right, good. <laughs> Hopefully when this emergency is over, we go back to uh, our normal, regular way of life. You know, even little things that we never paid attention in the past, now we miss it. Yes. Yeah. All right, so um, I have an exercise about uh, 2.9, it's right here. So let's see how we're doing with the present perfect continuous. Okay, so we have different exercises. Um, um, can you see the, 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 the screen? No. No, no. no yet. Okay, okay. Not Hold yet. on. I'm doing something wrong again. Right here. What about now? Yes. yes. Yeah. All right. Yes. Okay, so the instructions, they say complete the conversations with the present perfect continuous. So what would be the best option for letter A? What have what you been, been doing lately? What have you been doing lately? Yes. What have you been doing lately? Okay, what about letter B? Well, I have I have been spending. I have been spending my free time. Okay. Have been what, is the, what is the contraction of I have? I have. Yes. Well, I've been spending my free time at the beach. Good. Do you guys like going to the beach? Yes, I yeah. really love it. And Valen well, music. We have Sunday in this next week. Yeah. <laughs> I prefer the mountain. You prefer the mountains? Anywhere in particular, Walter? Uh, I I prefer the mountains and that uh, beach. I don't like beach. Okay. And is there one mountain in particular that you like to visit? Walter? And the Pital. Pital, yeah, Pital is nice. All right, yes. so let's do the next one, letter A again. What is the answer for that one? Have you been working part-time these years? Have, have you been, been working? Uh-huh. Have you been working part-time this year? What would be the answer for that question? Uh, how, how yes, I've been, or, or no, I haven't. Okay, yes, I have, or no, I haven't. No, I haven't, yeah. Yeah, now, when you're answering uh, a question, then it's not possible to make a contraction. So you said, have you uh, been working part-time this year? Yes, I've, no, nah, it's not possible. So you're supposed to say, yes, I have. Yes, I have. Okay, letter B. Yes. Uh, Maybe yes, I have, I have but the platform yes, makes wrong. I don't know why. Okay. There is a mistake. There is, there is a mistake uh, there. 
Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, I have. I'm making the answer, but the answer is not here. Okay. So remember, you're supposed to choose uh, yes, I have. You click here, and then I, and then you're right. You're missing the, the, the auxiliary half. I've been making drinks at coffee time for the past few months. You're right. Uh, letter A again. How have, how have you how been have feeling, you recently? feeling recently? Okay, so how have you been feeling recently? Recently. How would you answer that question? I I have been I have been feeling sick. Okay, I have been feeling sick. I've been feeling good. I've been feeling bored, stressed, excited. So there are different forms to answer that one. What about the next one we have there? Great. I, I've been, been getting, I've a, been lot getting a lot of sleep. Uh -huh. And I, I haven't been, been eating a much, much since I started my diet. my diet. Okay. Now that they mention eating, are you eating more or less with this emergency? <laughs> more. <laughs> more. More. Okay. Especially is desserts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And desserts are so delicious, but they can get you a little bit heavier, too. <laughs> yes. All right. Good. Uh, what about the one we have in the front right now? Have you been getting enough exercise lately? Uh-huh. What would be the answer for that one? No, I haven't. Uh -huh. <laughs> My guess, yes, I have. <laughs> okay, good. The ones that do exercise, what kind of exercise do you guys do? Push up, up a tree. <laughs> push ups? Push ups. Mm -hmm. Okay, push ups are good. Mm. What else? Maybe in my case, working out like a aerobics. Okay. A cardio. All right, cardio, okay. And we go with the last one. No, I haven't. I been studying. I've been studying a lot of studying. Good, good. A lot of good. Okay, good. Now, if I ask you, what are you doing now? that you were not doing before the emergency, what would be your answer? Uh, I have been eating a lot of food. Okay, you have been eating a lot. Someone else? I have been reading a lot. Good, you've been reading a lot. Uh-huh, someone else? I have been watching, I haven't wa been watching much television. Okay. Someone I else? Been, I have been working in my okay. house. Okay, I have been working in my house. Someone else? I, I, I have been uh, talking with my family. Good, no. good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, that's the idea, you know, like, uh, if we are in this situation where we have to be in our houses, you might as well take uh, advantage of it and, 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 and <laughs> do something productive. Yeah. All right. Um, any questions about this quiz? No question. No. no what would we do with the 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 problem in the sentences? What do you mean? 
and the, when the answer is needed. Okay, uh, you know, honestly, I hadn't, I hadn't seen uh, the observation that Eduardo made, but I will report it because they yes, need to fix it. It's, a, it's a problem because you can answer. Exactly. It, there is no right answer for that question in particular. Yes. Right. Okay. Um, anybody else? No. No. All right. So, um, where is this? Um, here. Okay. Do you guys remember? Uh, yesterday's conversation. Uh, the topic was technology. Right. Right. Let me see if. Um... See if it's here. There were a conversation between Gina and Pete. They was asking each other what have they done with their with their lives. All right. Let me see this here. We close this one. Share screen. This is the one I'm looking for. Okay, can you see the screen now? Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. So once again, I sent you this image yesterday for you guys to converse, speak. Yeah. So um, it's already in the chat. However, I'm going to send it to you guys again, just in case you were absent yesterday. Or you can take a screenshot from here if you prefer. So what's up? 9 to 10 p.m. And. Where is this? Right here. So there you have it. So let me uh, make the pairs again, break up rooms. So move two, four, move two, four. And that will be it. So Kimberly will exchange with Manny. All right, here we go.
teacher, uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't have the, the, the pictures on the, in the, in the WhatsApp group. Okay, are you in the, in the WhatsApp group, uh, Ricardo? Yes, I, I am checking now, but I don't have uh, this, the, the picture. Okay, let me resend it. Okay. Okay, it's right there. Hold on, hold on. Have you received it? Yes, this one is okay. All right, good. Okay. Do not lie without. Number three. Yes. What new technology could you not live without? Ignorant. <laughs> we couldn't live with ignorant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And in a case also inner and communication because my life, my social, my world depend on that. Yeah, Do you like reading? Yeah, go ahead. What? And no, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Do you like reading about technology? Um, I don't know how to answer because recently it's the same as with uh, Zoom. Yeah, technology. You have to learn. Yeah, I think technology saves time searching for information. Yes, um, because it's the area. Uh, this era is for the information, it's not industrial. Yeah, before uh, one went to the library to look for information now, uh, Google it. <laughs> oh, news on Google. <laughs> on Google. <laughs> yeah. Yes. What do you think very old people think of modern technology? is to cultivate crops and clean lands and new, new kind of seeds. That's technology too. Yes, uh, that is good. Okay, the next. Uh, do you like using technology to learn? What do you think? What do you, what do you, do you like? Using technology to learn. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, I'm um, old fashioned guy and I love to read books, but it's hard, little kind of hard to me to <clears throat> do it in the PC or in my smartphone. But I'm learning a little slowly, but I prefer books. Do you, prefer, do you prefer books? Yeah. Okay. Well, in my case, uh, I, I like I like using technology to learn. It's more easy, and I I save my money too because I I don't spend in in, in books. Only I look for the PDF in internet, and I read. Uh, uh, the books uh, that I like about technology, literature, mathematics, uh, computer, I don't know. Uh, in the news, um, for the, I watch in the television. Um, this is in my, 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 <laughs> my, my, in this case, this is about the, if, if you like, uh, it's a reading, you like reading about technology. Do you like reading about technology? Um, uh, I, I read in, um, about the technology um, advance, the new advance, 
um, about the, uh, for example, the Twitter, um, WhatsApp. Uh, okay. The, the new advance for communication. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> okay, number, the next, the next one is the uh, number, number five. Do you like using technology to learn? Do business because, like I said, um, like 20 years before or 30 years before, the, uh, it was like a, more difficult to do business and, and right now, you can use your uh, uh, factories or companies and uh, use the technology to uh, to improve their business for example digital marketing or things like that yes also and the technology will be uh no the technology is, is very important for the person because the technology is very important how to use, use they because it's uh, is necessary for them because the medicine the doctors they the people is sick they have a new technological medicine No, there, there are many areas that uh, use this tool. Uh, that's just pretty true. Has technology made us more impatient? What do you think? Mm. More impatient. I don't consider that people is more impatient with technology, but I, but I consider that people is more um, exigente. I don't know how demanding. How demanding, yes. Mm -hmm. I consider that people is more is more demanded with technology because yes. we have a we we have different options, a lot of options in in different things, and we can choose the ver the the best option to <laughs> yes. The better, <laughs> the <Yeah>. better cell phone. <laughs> what do you think? Um, I think that uh, there are uh, people that um, doesn't patient, yeah? Uh, we were living in a fast moving society in the technology has become poor uh, many people and, and, not, and maybe I think if you is technology is used by people with heart it's okay but maybe some machines Left without job, many people. An example is in the gas stations. When I was a kid, I remember that there were maybe 10, 10 people going and coming, but but now there are, there are some gas stations with only one man or girl and. In the, in the, as a cashier, and that's all. You have to do everything. Pump up your your tires, fill your tank with gas, with gas, and clean your uh, windows of your car. All right, uh, I understand. Uh, you with uh. Resumen. How do you say resumen? Summary. 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 About your, your homework. 
they yes. don't 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 uh, learning no 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 le gusta leer mucho entonces they don't like to read ah okay they don't like to learn um they bus resumen <laughs> se me olvida cómo es yeah, yeah. <laughs> summary Summary. 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 Yes. Yes. Okay. Then the next one is number seven. Okay. How has technology changed society? Society. 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 Yes. Society. How? I had a lot of work, so I wasn't able to meet any girl. Okay. And I got married because I I, I already had the means to stay with the other person. I have job well, when I have six eighteen. I work in always always. How old are you? I'm twenty three years old. Twenty three. Oh my God! Yes. I'm older. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you? six and I'm not married. How are you, Siete? Huh? How are you? I am 26 years 26. old. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You that complete the affairs. The affairs. Quarter. I don't, I don't know what to say. Quarter. quarter. The first quarter. Quarter. First quarter. Okay. First quarter. Quarter, yes. Yeah. You know, you know that the teacher Francisco was my teacher when I went to school in the, when high I school. have high school, yes. Oh, wow. No, I didn't know. <laughs> yes. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I um, met Walter like five years ago or six years ago, Walter, that uh, we met, or seven years ago. Let me see. Let me see. Is why in uh, 20. Because I, re I remember that I left in 2013. I changed work and that's when I, I didn't see you anymore. Uh, so it's been like seven like, years. Like seven years, yes. Uh, in the 2015, you start a new group with us. Uh, 20, I think 2013, I think. Was it 13 or, or 15? 15 because I, I, I finished my high school in 2015. Okay. Yeah. So it was, so it's been five years, five years. Yes. Five years. Yes. Okay. Good. Good. Did you guys finish uh, making all the 10 questions? Yes. Yes. All right, let's go back. Okay. Okay. All right, can you guys hear me? Yes. 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 All right, so uh, just to make sure that we're on the same page, uh, is technology a good or a bad thing? Need a volunteer to answer that question. Good or bad thing? It depends the uh, the use uh, the person okay. uses. It okay, so it depends on the use. Okay, so how can you? Can, can you give me an example of someone using technology in a bad way, in a bad thing? When someone is paying a lot of time in technology without receiving a when, good when we have water machines. Okay. When someone tries to install your personal information, for example, your credit card or uh, bank account, for example. Okay. OK, 
Okay, Manuel says, when someone tries to take your information, Kim said, well, if you're spending too much time in the computer, that is that can be bad too, right? Yes. Any other example of a bad use of technology? Okay, let's go to the next one. What new technology couldn't you live without? My cellular phone. <laughs> okay, your cell phone. The internet. The internet. The internet. Okay. Right. So uh, yeah, I think that all the new technology somehow uh, you need technology. They don't work without technology, but uh, without internet. Sorry. Yeah. So I think internet is is something really really important. Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> Ricardo. To the world. Right. Yeah, connection to the world. Oh, connection to the yes, uh, connection for to 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 the to the to internet is very important today. <laughs> right. Right. Good. Now, question four: Do you like reading about technology? <laughs> for me, not really, because I I read other things, but the technology is very confused. Only I use I read when I uh, interesting in a particular uh, uh, things. Right. Thing. Right. Right. Anybody else has? But a sometimes there uh -huh. are articles uh, interesting about robotic, for example. I like it. Okay, good, good. Anybody else? Okay, question five. Do you like using technology to learn? Yes, I am. Yes. You like it? Yes, I like Yes, I am. All right. Like in this class. Right, yeah. <laughs> if, if without internet, nobody could access to the, to the class. So technology platforms, you know, that are really necessary uh, nowadays. I have one day to learn other language, for example, Italian. Okay, good. Yeah, good. Uh, question six: What do you think very old people think of modern technology? Uh, because they didn't uh, grow up with technology. Sometimes they think that it's a bad thing. But also, there are other old people that need to learn how to use technology, for example, in order to keep it in touch easier with their relatives and friends. Good, good. Yeah, not necessarily with work, but for your personal use. Yes. Any other opinions about what do you think old people think of modern technology? All right, number seven, how has technology changed society? Do you think technology has changed society? Yes, it changed this, yeah. the, the, the doing the activities in different ways, the business in mm -hmm. different ways. Right, right. The meetups or the procedures Right, mm -hmm. right. With, with robotics. Right. Or, or just think about the situation that we have right now. Um, many people, they're doing things online, you know, like they need to have meetings, they need to send reports and everything, and everything goes with technology. That's the only option they have. Yeah. And uh, the companies mm -hmm. uh, to learn to increase the use of technology in these times. Right, right. So when you go to a job interview, they will ask you questions about technology. Can you use Word? Can you use Excel? Can you do this? Can you do that? And you have to be very efficient. Yes. Uh, question eight, has technology made us more impatient? Yes. You think so? Of course. For example, couples. Uh huh. Okay, you know that's that's another use. Like you can meet someone real through a computer. You know, just go and say couples online, and they will give you 
uh, many options. Yeah. Any other comments about uh, number eight? No? It doesn't like this. Okay, let me see this here. <clears throat> so it says, number nine, technology is the knack of arranging the world so that we don't have to experience it. Is that true? Do you think that you, you can use computers as a mirror of what can happen to you in a real life situation without experiencing it yourself? Do you understand the question? Not really. Uh, can you explain the question? Yes, like uh, technology gives you a mirror of what could happen to you in a real life situation. Yes, can help that. Sure. Videos, yeah. Facebook. Yes. I mean, so many things that people share that uh, they said, oh, I don't want that to be me, you know, so. Yes, and you can mm -hmm. read a lot of uh, advices. Right, right, yeah. Okay, um, we're going to stop right here. Uh, do you guys have any questions or comments about today's class? No. No? no. All right, so once again, thank you very much for making the space. I will be seeing each one of you hopefully on Monday at 9 o'clock. You guys have a nice weekend. Okay, bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. All right, bye. take care. Okay, thank you. Good night, everybody. Good night.